Joplin. Gary is here to explain how the National Weather Service measures tornadoes such as this. Gary? Hey, Mark. The tornado struck at 5.40 p.m. There was about 24-minute lead time, but let's take a look at this video. And as you can see, this is as the tornado was forming and moving into Joplin. It became about three-quarters of a mile wide, and you can see it going across, producing the power outages. Just listen to it for a few seconds. Let's go. Just go. Okay. Just a little bit. You can see. Oh, my God. Okay, just just go slow, go slow. It's gonna cross the road right there. It's gonna cross the road. These so, are some oh storm chasers okay. following it going across. Oh now, how strong was it? Let's take a look oh at the Fujita scale. This is the EF scale, uh, enhanced Fujita scale. And the preliminary reports are saying that it's going to be an EF4 from the National Weather Service, about 198 mile per hour winds. But uh, Jeff Penn and I think that it still might be upgraded to an EF5. How many tornadoes are of EF4 to EF5 strength? Only 1% of tornadoes, 99% of tornadoes, 99 out of every 100, are the EF 0, 1, 2, or 3 varieties. So this was obviously one of the strong ones, and it hit a populated area. We'll come back in a few minutes. We have our own severe weather threat, and we'll go over that here this hour. All right, Gary, thanks. Oh, the work in Joplin has only just begun. MoDOT says it is working quickly to clear the way for trucks hauling oversized and overweight loads of supplies to reach down to Joplin. It is expediting permits and waiving fees for heavy trucks loaded with the materials needed to get that recovery stuff down there.